Tonight, my dream and Ray's dream has come true. Susan has very happily said, I do, to a lifetime of love, laughter, and shenanigans with truly the finest man that she could have ever been blessed to fall in love with. Susan, if the sun refused to shine, I would still love you. And when the mountains crumble to the sea, there will still be you and me. I could face a mountain, but I could never climb alone. You're the reason the sun shines down and the nights, they don't grow old. Only you that I'll hold when I'm young. Only you as we grow old. My love is strong. With you there is no wrong. Together we shall go until we die. And so today, my world, it smiles. Your hand in mine, we walk the miles. Thanks to you, it will be done, for you and me are the only one. As long as the day is full of time, there will always be room for your hand in mine. Paul, to quote our song, I never open myself this way. Life is ours and we live it our way. Trust I seek and I find in you every day for us something new. Paul, I am blessed that you've always pushed us to live our lives to the very fullest, whether it's following our favorite bands, taking care of the gas station, going for ice cream and long walks, laughing loudly in unison, playing Guitar Hero until my arm feels like it might fall off or require surgery, <laughs> spending quality time with each other's family and friends, or just sitting at the edge of the dock to watch a sunset or nighttime meteor shower. I am truly honored to have my best friend and soulmate by my side for all of life's adventures. Paul, I promise to trust you without question, love you without stipulation, respect you without judgment, and listen without too much interruption. <laughs> well, I guess we'll be here. Paul. Take you, Susan. Take you, Susan. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Susan, if you too would say these words to your group. I, Susan. I, Susan. Take you, Paul. Take you, Paul. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. <laughs> in sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. I will love you. I will love you and honor you and honor you all the days of my life all the days of my life the two of you have declared your consent before your family your friends your God may God in his goodness strengthen you in your consent and fill you with many many blessings what God has joined let no one divide I heard all about this friend from the lake for years. He was the boy we called neighbor Nate's friend, who you bonded over music and silly times with. It wasn't until after college that you had your official first date. And then after that, he became a constant in your life. He was a rock and by your side when your father was sick. And it was those months that I knew for certain that Paul was the one. I have grown up with Paul and have known Paul since we were both knee high. 
and over the years I've really gotten to uh, to know Paul and what a great guy he really is. He's silly, he's goofy, he's funny, but nonetheless a great guy. And uh, his uh, love of music and uh, for Susan is awfully inspiring. I remember the first time Paul telling me about uh, him and Susan's first uh, date together at the Metallica concert and what a great time he had with Susan. I was, I then knew, it was like, it has to be the one. Of course it's the one when your first date is a Mad Metallica concert. And I think he knew then too. You know, I've known Paul since elementary school, but now Paul and I didn't really become friends until high school. Susan was my neighbor on Lake Freeman and the three of us would hang out on occasion. And, and uh, after I left town for college, as, as Aaron was saying, uh, they had their first date. You know, Paul, you're great for Susan. Susan, you're great for Paul. You two complement each other perfectly. And, you know, that's truly what this is, an adventure. You need to make the best of what's around and love each other unconditionally. So without further ado, here's to you, Paul and Susan. I love you both. Place that ring halfway up her finger, and I'm going to ask you to turn just a little bit to everybody. They got to see this to believe it. Okay. Look at her in her eyes, and, and say, and say these words to her. Susan, take this ring. Susan, take this ring. As a sign. As a sign. Of my love. As my. At, what? Of my love. <laughs> of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. Now and forevermore. Now and forevermore. Now, Bride, if you would take the ring for your groom. Place that ring halfway up his finger as well. Again, let's turn a little bit. We want everybody to see this, but look at him. Okay. I can tell they're musicians, so you can't help them. Really say these words. Paul, take this ring. Paul, take this ring. As a sign. As a sign. Of my love. Of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. Now and forevermore. Now and forevermore. Nice <laughs> slide. You're the most generous, determined, humorous, hardworking, thoughtful, pensive, funny friend that everyone wants in their lives. It only made sense that you found a partner that respected, laughed with you, could keep up with you, love you and your family. Enter Paul. Your mutual enthusiasm for music is a tight bond that goes beyond the live concerts you attend. You both make each other laugh every day. You've supported each other's jobs, which is evident by Paul's willingness to jump in and work at the gas station that busy Labor Day back in 2004. You have a solid partnership, which is very inspiring to me because you have shown me that it's okay to fall in love with a friend. May your mornings bring joy and your evenings bring peace. May your troubles grow few as your blessings increase. May the saddest day of your future be no worse than the happiest day of your past. May your hands be forever clasped in friendship and your hearts join forever in love. Your lives are very special. God has touched you in many ways. May his blessings rest upon you and fill all your coming days. May you live all the days of your life. Live strong. 
I wish you comfort on difficult days, smile when sadness intrudes, rainbows to follow the clouds, laughter to kiss your lips, sunsets to warm your heart, hugs when spirits sag, beauty for your eyes to see, friendship to brighten your being, faith so that you can believe, confidence for when you doubt, love to complete your life. Susan and Paul, I love you both so much and I hope you have a super great, wonderful life together. Susan is such a nice, caring, and loving, and down-to-earth person. She is really great for Paul, and I'm glad that I couldn't be happier for the both of them. So, they are the perfect complement to each other, and I believe Susan and Paul might just be the first couple where their kids are going to have to tell them to turn their music down. When I was growing up, I used to watch all the award shows and dream about one day, you know, winning an award for something. I just wanted to give an acceptance speech, and today my award came in the form of marrying Paul Money. And I want to thank you all for your role in our lives and in getting us to this point, this day. We are incredibly grateful to all our families for their love, support, and guidance, and to the members of our gigantic wedding party who have been there to dispense advice, celebrate our engagement, offer help wherever needed, and most importantly, stand up with us on our wedding day. We are so appreciative of everyone here today, and we are completely overwhelmed that so many of you have joined together to celebrate our marriage. We are hoping that you are enjoying this day as much as we are enjoying your company, and we hope to see you all up on the dance floor the entire night. <laughs> Thank you. Paul, I love you both very much, and after your first 35 years together, I hope you each receive a card from each other that simply says, hasn't it been fun?